Alright folks, this is Ross McCann, I'm 23 and from Glasgow, and this video diary documents my very first shot as a slime caster. So Slinky and Sony gave me the amazing opportunity to meet and interview John Owen of Academy Music Group, which is the UK's leading owner and operator of live music venues, which include the O2 Academy venues dotted around the nation. So John's position within the company is marketing and partnerships, and he's had a pretty extensive career in the music industry. So I had some excellent chat about festival marketing, the live music industry, different territories since John had spent a lot of time managing in Australia, and a lot of philosophy regarding life in the biz. So just briefly, John, how did you get to where you were since leaving school? And was there any kind of pivotal points in your career that got you to where you were today? Um, I suppose whilst I was still at school, I mean, I always had a massive, massive, massive passion for, for music and kind of gigs and bands and listening to, you know, just love, I've always loved music. And um, I suppose when I, when I was still at school, I was work, the first job in the music industry I ever had was working at Leeds Festival. And, um, we we just go we get we get a, a water because there'd be a, you know loads of different water stands around the festival site. We get one in front of the main stage and we just sit there for three days and watch music. And so, and so we and we got paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 we just get a van. We just get a van and drive around. Yeah. And, you know, do it. But in, in Australia it's a little bit it's a bit harder because you know the next city's like twenty you know, fifteen or twenty four hours drive or exactly. So you know you don't really stick in. Yeah, that, that's probably seen the, the, the end of a lot of vans in Australia because you've yeah. been stuck in a van for 24 hours. Suffocating in the back of a van in Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, you, you know, but you know, as you just say, it's a bit more. But yeah, a, a manager is massively important, but you know, at different, at different stages, you, you start to take on different responsibilities. Ian, I think there's an attitude amongst a lot of young people that think that it's just a pipe dream. You know, yeah, it's yeah. Like, I'll never be like that, I can never make that money or whatever their route to happiness fuck, fuck is. Fuck those people, don't listen to that. Exactly, money, you, know, you know, you can do whatever you can do. I mean, here's me speaking to somebody like yourself who's just a normal guy and look what yeah. you've achieved over all these years, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I think I've done a lot of it. Yeah, it's weird. See, so um, you don't think that, but people who, who haven't reached that stage do. Yeah, 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 I know, I suppose so, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, just don't, don't, have, don't, don't, don't let those people, don't listen to those people, you know? It, uh, I think yeah, having huge, just having a belief and a passion in what you do, and like have, having a having a rough idea of how to get there. It was great to get so much advice from someone with experience, and it helps even more when the person at hand is a downright nice guy like John was. After the interview, he got us into the scouting for girls show before we got a taxi over to the other O2 Academy in Glasgow to see Katie Thunstall, where we were placed in the balcony seat with a few ice cold beers. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow me on the rest of my journey using the Slinky website which is posted in the description. Catch! You.